guys, today I'm going to show you how to change your backlight dash bulbs or any of your other little bulbs on your dash. So I'll show you the process of getting this out and changing the bulbs so that you get light at night when you're driving. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to recommend you do is just go ahead and unplug your battery cables. That'll make everything safer. If you know how to do that, I actually grabbed the wrong tool here, but your battery's going to be back here and it's most likely gonna be a 13 millimeter on either one of those. To make this job a lot easier for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the steering wheel. To do that, for this one, there's gonna be uh, two T30 bolts right back here. We'll get you a better angle of it, but there's just two, you get the airbag off, and then I'll show you what we do after that. So on the back of your airbag, you'll probably, similar to mine, have two plugs. This one that goes into the middle, and this one that's a ground. You can take that off. Put this somewhere safe. Don't throw it. <laughs> All right, so once you get that off, right here holding the rest of the steering wheel is a 16 millimeter. And uh, before you take it off, you want to make sure that it's lined up straight just so that you put it back on straight and everything's aligned. Once you got the wheel out of the way, it becomes a lot easier. You have a lot of room here. So at this point, you have two Phillips screws on either side of this, and it's pretty straightforward. Just lefty-loosey, get those out. Oh, to get this out, I'm gonna use these two tools, just a little trim removal tool, or if you don't have one, another flathead. And then this one, I'm gonna show you why, because some of these uh, plastic parts here are a little fragile. So, I'm gonna go to the top here oh, and pop that out. And that actually went pretty smooth for me, but sometimes I'll show you these little ears will get caught in the grooves of the dash. And if you yank on them, they can break. So it might be smart to use a flat head like this just to pry those out loose before you go yanking. Once you get it out, there's three clips on the back. Um, they have that little push down and slide the lever over style. I'll show it to you once I get it out. <laughs> yeah, this one you'll be able to see it pretty good. So once you have your dash out, this gets a lot easier. Just you flip it over the back, and you can see everything you're gonna wanna work on. You're gonna see three big green little bulbs, or bulb holders rather. Those are gonna be the three that are responsible for doing the overall backlighting of your instrument clusters, like the uh, coolant gauge, tachometer, speedo, uh, fuel mileage, fuel uh, tank, all that is backlit by these three. You can see these smaller black lights illuminate specific things such as your, you know, getting too hot or airbag. It actually shows all of it right here on the back of the housing. So if there are any of those lights are out, there's a specific part number for those and those are BMW parts. So you might have to go through the dealership or like FCP Euro, etc. These green bulbs, however, can actually get these bulbs and replace them into the housing. It is something you can get at an AutoZone, Walmart, O'Reilly's, etc. And that's what I did. So I'm going to show you that process. For these bigger bulbs that do your backlighting, I think it's easiest just to get a pair of needle nose and gently grip them and twist. And there you go.
All right, so these are the 168 bulb. You can also put a 194 bulb in there. The difference between the 168 and the 194 is the 168 runs at like 14 volts and 4.7, 14 volt and 4.9 watt. These are probably like a 12 volt and a three watt. More volts and more watts should mean a brighter light. So that should give me a brighter backlight on my dash. If you don't want it to be brighter or have the option for it to be brighter, go ahead and get the 194 bulbs. But you can get these, the 168 or the 194, and even different colored temperatures um, at your local auto parts store or like a Walmart, etc. So these new bulbs, you'll see they have like little pieces of metal that come down right here, and they just slide into these metal grooves of the connector. It's pretty straightforward, you just kind of press them in, but not too much force is needed. Wearing gloves is a good idea. You don't want to get any oil residue from your fingers onto the bulb. It's no bueno. All right, real quick, I'll just show you guys if you're replacing one of the BMW ones, the little lights. They're a simple twist style, but they have this little slot that you can use a little flathead in. So you get it in and then you twist it. And can't quite twist it with my fingers, so you get the little flat head. And there you go. Bulb replaced. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, and what I recommend you do too, is go ahead and get this mounted in general area, get the plugs in, and then go ahead and plug in your battery, and uh, just test it out to make sure you got everything in there right. I'm gonna do that right now. As you can see now, everything is lit up pretty good. Here, we'll lit up. Once you verify that your new lights work, unplug your battery again. With the battery unplugged, reinstall the dash and then the steering wheel in the reverse order that they were removed. Finally, reconnect your battery and enjoy your new dash. Oh man. Just give it a little love. <laughs> <laughs> 